My name's Gus Shaver. I came here for the first time on a visit in the summer of 2008. I came here uh, to attend a meeting in the Meg's room at Swope Center. And uh, when I was leaving, I passed a friend of mine, John Hobby, uh, who said they had a job available here. Uh, so I uh, immediately applied, and six months or so later, I was here as an employee. Our offices and labs were in the Lurb building, uh, mostly on the second floor. Um, about a year after the, uh, I moved here, the environmental sciences building was built, uh, and we moved from the Lurb building into that environmental sciences building and the remodeled homestead building, uh, looking out on the water. I had a wonderful office, looking right out on Woods Hole. I started studying ecosystems ecology uh, as a graduate student. I was training to be an ecophysiologist, uh, but I was involved in the uh, tundra biome study at Barrow, part of the International Biological Program. That was back in the early 70s, late 60s, uh, and that study was a study of tundra ecosystems around the Arctic. When I came here, I became even more fully engaged in, in ecosystem science. Ecosystem science is not very theoretical. Uh, most ecosystem science scientists don't think theoretically. Uh, many do. Um, I'm interested in uh, theory uh, as it applies to uh, the role of plants in element cycles, uh, particularly uh, stoichiometric theory of ecosystem processes and ecosystems. Uh, I'm also interested in uh, evolution. I mean, I started as an ecophysiologist interested in plant adaptations. Uh, in recent years, I've been able to return somewhat to my earlier interests in ecotypic variation, uh, um, variation among populations in terms of their physiological capacities and characteristics uh, along the environmental gradient we have from north to south in Alaska. Uh, I, I've never been focused on theory exclusively, and uh, much of the work at Tulick Lake has not been focused on theory. One of our colleagues, John Moore, um, is very much a food web theorist. Uh, he works at Tulick Lake. We've been able to get him more and more involved over the last few years. But we don't have a strong theoretical component. The long-term ecological research LTER program uh, was first developed in 1980. Um, the Arctic LTER project was, well, we obtained LTER funding in 1988. Uh, this was a program that we had all been hoping would be developed, and we're, we were pushing for it. Um, and we were already at the time committed to long-term research at, at Tulick Lake in Alaska, both terrestrial and aquatic research. I had been working at Tulick Lake since 1976, and John Hobby, Bruce Peterson, and others, the Ecosystem Center since 1975. Uh, so we've been working more than 10 years at Tulick Lake before we got LTER funding. And we basically built the LTER as a combination of the separate uh, terrestrial and aquatic pro programs that we already established there. Uh, 
well, I was told that, that the expectation of assistant scientists or scientists here was that they would, at least in the ecosystem center, was that they would raise about nine months a year of their, their funding through research grants. Uh, when I came here, I, I was able to bring with me several months a year of funding. Uh, I've been working on a couple of grants at the University of Alaska and at San Diego State University. But, uh, of course, I immediately sat down and wrote proposals. Uh, the first proposal I wrote was successful. It was to work with Jerry Melillo on a project involving plant nitrogen and phosphorus use and interaction of N and P in plants. There was, um, it started about a year before I got here, there was a global carbon project at the MBL, at the Ecosystem Center, that involved all of the staff of the Ecosystem Center, the PhD staff, and uh, I, of course, participated in that. Uh, we had a couple of large grants from the National Science Foundation and from DOE. Spent hours and hours talking with each other in the meeting room upstairs in the homestead. Well, yes, we taught several classes. Um, when I first came here for several years, we taught a winter uh, term ecology class. Uh, it, most of the years it was four weeks. Each week we would take a special topic and look at it in depth with a group of students who had, at that time, students from small colleges in particular had January, February as a winter term squeezed in between two longer semesters. So they came here and we did that. Um, and then starting in 1998, I think it's 1998, the Ecosystem Center has been teaching this semester in environmental science, which is a really great thing for the us as well as for the students. There are two ways to answer that. Uh, one is that you know, the conditions of my employment are that I have to raise grant funds to cover my research and to pay my salary. So a great deal of my uh, research has evolved uh, as a result of calculations about what can be funded and how much I can do. Um, but of course, I've also been very much influenced by the colleagues I've had here um, and in the long term, uh, particularly in Alaska. Uh, there's no way I would have done many of the things that I've done without uh, the colleagues that I've had. I've been here a long time and I've had a lot of fun. Uh, I wouldn't have stayed if I didn't feel like it was a good place to be.